Okay, this query focuses on what alerts happened um, on this day or between these two times. It's a pretty simple query. We're looking at the alerts table, we're pulling out the information we want, and the, the real juice in this one is the last two parts of the query where the two epoch timestamps are. We have a, a start date or start time and an end time, and what we get is a table showing the alerts that happened um, between those two times. It's quite useful, and it's something I think, um, yeah, you could fit into any report, any monthly report, or you could use this query as a base and then expand upon it to produce what you need for your reporting. See you for the next one. So this query is answering the question, what CVEs are unresolved on a given asset? And what we're doing is we're looking at the asset, uh, identifying it by its IP address, and then we're looking for CVEs which are unresolved and also um, are known uh, as having been exploited using the um, iskev um, flag there. Then we're selecting the information we need. We're sorting in order of the CVE score and producing this table, which really gives you a whole bunch of actionable steps you can take to uh, improve the protection, the security around a given asset. So this query is looking at vulnerabilities that exist on an asset, um, sorted by asset name and in ascending order. And it's very similar to some of the other queries we've done. It's kind of that what vulnerabilities exist on this device sort of question, but a little bit different in that we're returning a lot more information in this one. Um, it's diving a lot deeper. It's reasonably long and complex query, uh, but it does a good job. You might want to use it. Okay, this query here is about understanding the most used protocols in your network. And it's really simple. Take the links, take the amount of transferred traffic, sort it, pick out the pieces you want. Take the top ones. In this case, we're selecting the top 15 and create a column graph. Very, very simple. Hope you find it useful. See you for the next one. So this is a very useful query for looking at CVEs which have been unresolved for greater than a month in your environment. So what we're doing, we're taking the node CVEs table, joining it to nodes, um, and then excluding any public um, IP addresses that may be present. Setting our date, greater than 30, um, if you wanted it to look at a month or three months or, or whatever your, um, your limit might be, just adjust that part of the query. You're looking for whether the resolved tag has been, um, is true or not. And then we're, we're picking the information we want to present in our table here. Really useful query, well worth using. So this query is all about multi-homed assets. And you may have it in your network environment where you assume that everything um, is on a single subnet and there's no multi-homing anywhere. Uh, but this, this query could be the basis of an assertion which you could use to alert if an asset changes uh, its configuration and suddenly appears on more than one network. All you have to do is add the um, assert empty uh, statement to the end of the query. And um, yeah, you've got an assertion rather than just a query. Okay, this query here is looking at the number of nodes you have in each subnet in your network. And while you could do this just using zones, um, I think this query is kind of handy because it shows a broader range of query language and um, query language capabilities. And you might get some ideas from that that you can use in other things. Mm -hmm.